you have been lied to. And these five lies have stunted your growth on YouTube, but worry no more today, the truth will set you free. Yes, in this video, we are talking about five lies that upcoming YouTubers believe that stunt their growth on YouTube, resulting in terrible, terrible views. How do I know this? Because I used to be the biggest believers of these lies, and you guys, I'm glad I saw the truth, okay? So lie number one is that the algorithm hates me. Oh my goodness. If I told you how many times I've said this in my YouTubing life, you would not be impressed because I used to believe this family because I would be like, I'm making good videos. This algorithm is speaking against me because I am from Africa, because I am black, because I'm a woman, because I don't know. The minute you believe the YouTube algorithm is against you is the minute you shoot yourself in the foot because then there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, it's the algorithm. What can you as an individual person do about an entire thing, you know? So it is a lie because once I came to realize the things I was doing wrong and started improving on them, then the algorithm loved me. Of course it didn't love me. The things just started getting better because I was doing the right thing. So please, do not for one minute put it in your mind that the whole YouTube system is against you because then you are backing yourself into a corner and you have no way to get out of it because unless you know the people who operate the algorithm itself and you can beg them to make it love you, there's basically nothing you can do about it. And first of all, number one, it's algorithms. There are many algorithms, not just one. And number two, it is an objective software. It basically looks at a lot of metrics and analytics of your channel and of your video. And if you want to see the most important analytics, I've done a video on that. If you just keep improving those analytics and those metrics one by one, slowly by slowly, over time, you will start getting views. Okay? So that's a lie. It's a lie. Don't believe it work on your craft the better you get the more views you will get simple let's go to line number two line number two is my videos are better than his or hers so i don't understand why she's getting more views than me ask me how i know <laughs> oh my gosh you guys i used to be that person i would look at other people's videos and other people's channels and i would watch their videos and i'm like oh my goodness i don't understand why they are getting so many views i am way better than they are Comparison is a thief of all joy. Run your own race. And you guys, this machine, this platform is very objective, as I have said. Clearly, there is something that that person is doing better than you. You know, I had to sit down and give myself a meeting, like, chick, listen. There's something this person is doing better than you. And instead of there being jealous and comparing and figuring out, you know, thinking I'm way better, it is much more beneficial if I sit down and actually watch the videos that are performing better than mine. First, watch them with, you know, just give, tell the person if they're doing well, they're doing well, you know? And number two, watch them in a spirit of learning. You remember we talked about being a student of YouTube? Figure out why are people preferring this kind of video over the kind of video that I am doing? What could I learn from this person? How can I improve? And if you can, give that person flowers. Basically, comment on their videos. No comment, they are putting a link to your own video. That's a bit, that's so nice. I don't like it when people do that to my own videos, by the way. Not in a bad way, but I'm like, it's better to come here and genuinely tell me if you like my content as opposed to coming to just tell people subscribe to my own channel because honestly that I make you look that nice. I've done it. I know. <laughs> you guys, this is confessions. <laughs> but be nice to that person. Tell them I really like how you do this and this and this. I wish you all the best. I'm learning a lot from you and genuinely mean it. So that whole thing of comparison and being jealous and that person is doing better than you will do you no good. That is a lie and we are stopping that today, right? Let me know in the comment section whether you have, whether you have been guilty. Please, just encourage me. Admit it. I have admitted it to you guys. Lie number three is that quality is more important than quantity. Now, stop. I know I can already see you typing, oh my goodness, no, it is quality. Quality is better than quantity. I know why I'm saying this, especially when you are beginning your YouTube journey. It is very, 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 very important to focus more on quantity than on quality. 
Because why? Because the more videos you make, and we have talked about this, you guys, please go back to that video. I'm going to put it right here. The more videos you make, the more quality you get. It's kind of like the chicken and the egg type of situation. And in this case, I feel that the quantity comes before the quality. I'd give myself maybe, we've already talked about a hundred good videos, just a hundred videos. They may not be very good, but just a hundred videos. By the time you're doing your 101 video, trust me, you're going to have so much more quality than your first video. But how do you get that? By making more and more and more content. Because that's how you will know this is what works for my audience. This is what does not work. This is the kind of thumbnail that they like. This is the kind of thumbnail that they don't like by actually doing it. So yes, as long as you are in the beginning stages of your journey, please focus on quantity and the quality will come over time. There comes a point in time where you actually now need to focus more on quality, but that comes way later. In the beginning, please focus on quantity. You will thank me. You guys, this journey is hard. YouTube is hard work, but the guys who are willing to work hard will reap the benefits. Let's go to number four. Line number four is, if I do what they're doing, then I will grow. Again, ask me how I know. Basically, we have talked about looking at other channels, doing your homework, finding out videos that work and everything, and then replicating or doing our own version of it which is what builds your own unique type of audience because you are a unique type of person. But the mistake that I've seen so many people making is taking one person's video, doing exactly what they did, and your audience will automatically tell you have copied this from such and such a person and they trust you less because trust me your audience are there because they like you as a person and so they want to see your own version of how you would do abcd because again this will bring you back to point number a where if i did abcd exactly as such and such a person did it how come i didn't get the number of views that she got well maybe because your audience would rather watch the original version of this thing from the person who did it as opposed to watching your plan your copied version of it you know I mean, why would i watch you when i can go get this from the original person so what i advise is this please get inspiration from other channels by all means we have talked about how you choose a niche please don't don't do something no one else is doing because that basically means no one else wants to watch that kind of thing but once you get inspiration make it your own you are a unique fantastic individual there's only one of you so if you make content that is unique to only you in the sense of putting your own unique spin on it you are much more likely to get an audience that trusts you and that is willing to grow with you as opposed to copying somebody else and exactly doing what they have done and i know this is hard because i know even me in the beginning i would be like i'll just take someone else's video and i'll come and do the exact same thing and then i'll be so disappointed but the more you're willing to be your authentic self and uh, your audience love your authentic self i'm telling you viewers love to see someone who is being unapologetically themselves the more you make something your own yourself without pretending to be someone else guys really relate with that so please 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 do not fall for the lie that if i do what i'm doing I'm, i'll grow just like her or i'll get the same number of views no people don't want to see your second rate version of what such and such a person did they want to see your own unique stuff so believe in yourself and give your audience and your subscribers what they have come for and speaking of subscribers, let's go to line number five. I'm so glad you've watched this video up to this point because line number five is another big one. Okay, I know people are going to <laughs> people are going to leave me comments about this, but let me know whether you think I'm right or wrong. Because the fifth lie is that subscribers are important. I know, guys, and when you're beginning your YouTube journey, yes, it is very important for you to get monetized to get your 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And I've done a fantastic video showing you how to do that here. Please check it out. You'll get monetized faster than you can imagine. But once you cross that 1,000 subscriber line and actually now start growing and getting monetized, I feel that it is less important to focus on how many subscribers you have and actually focus more on your returning viewers. What is the difference? The difference is that someone could subscribe to your channel, 
but never come back to watch another video. So you just have a number there, like you have 10,000 subscribers, but every time you publish a video, you're getting 500 views. My mm -hmm. focus would be on those 500 people who are actually coming back to watch my videos week after week, as opposed to the 10,000 videos, 10,000 people who actually click the subscribe button, but have never come back. So you understand what I mean? Subscribers, it's sort of like what is called like a vanity metric. Yes, we reach 100,000 subscribers. Yes, you get your nice silver plaque. I have mine here. I love it so much. But at the end of the day, if I am publishing a video and I am not getting 100,000 views, but I am getting 20,000 views, for me, it's actually just a sign that I need to work harder. Okay? Actually, it means that of the 100,000 subscribers I have, the most valuable people are the 20,000 people who are showing up for me week after week. And I need to focus on them. I need to engage them. I need to build a community with them because they are the ones who matter most. You understand? I know this can be a bit of like a confusing thing. Let me know whether you think it's making sense or not. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly do so and hit the notification bell because I want you to be an engaged subscriber who is actually a returning viewer. So yeah, I really want you to be here so we can grow together. Actually, this channel is sort of like an experiment to show you guys actually step by step how to grow a channel by starting a whole new channel. So you want to be here for the journey. I'm going to be sharing the mistakes that I make even on this new channel and also the mistakes that I have made in my other channel which is quite big now but i've made so many mistakes and if you want to see them watch this video over here and i'll see you there